Hey, what's going on guys? Um, I'm Brad. Basically, I really wanted to get into overlanding for quite some time, so I bought a Jeep a couple months ago. It already came with a lift kit and some nice tires and good suspension, uh, so there really wasn't much I had to do in regards to that, but I'm still quite the amateur, so I thought I'd take you along on my journey and kind of show you what I plan to do. Today I'm going to be installing the roof rack. It is a barricade roof rack. Um, I have a box over here, I think. Yeah, it's just a barricade roof rack. Uh, that's the brand. Again, don't know much about it, but I read the good reviews and I was like, let's do it. So I bought it and now I'm gonna experiment with putting it on. So either enjoy me struggle to put it on or learn from me putting it on. Either way, let's do this. Since it's Friday, we're gonna enjoy ourselves a nice cold beer. This work week was long. So let's start with this. Delicious. Uh, so here's the roof rack. We're going to be putting it on that Jeep right over there, and we'll go take a look at it real quick. It is a 2013 Jeep Wrangler Moab Edition. And like I said before, it already came with a lift kit, uh, some nice tires, really good suspension. I put some Smitty Built D-Rings on there, just for looks. I like the red accents. Um, soft top, two-door. It's pretty sweet. I enjoy it. We're gonna be doing quite a few things to it over the next few months. And we're gonna be starting with this roof rack. And if I run into anything interesting along the way, I'll be sure to show you. All right, so just kind of unpacked everything. That's a lot of bolts. Um, but at least they gave me, you know, two pages of instructions with pictures. So that should be very helpful. We're on step two. Actually, no, we're still on step one. <laughs> All right, so I realized about a little ways through here now that I didn't actually have to take this whole thing off. I just had to take off the bolts that were bolting that piece in. Um, Cause I put that up and I was like, wait a second, why doesn't it look right? Well, it turns out, yeah, yeah, I don't have to take this off. So I'm gonna put this part back on and then we'll put that on just like so. Yeah, see that looks so much better. It's progress. So the roof rack comes with these felt pads that kind of go on uh, to the plates but they're a little bit big, so you have to like kind of cut them back. That's what I've realized. So I'm just kind of putting it here, taking a little razor blade, and then trimming them down to size. And it seems to be working fine. And then screw them in by hand first. Also, it would be much easier if I had someone here to help me. Like a second set of hands, but so I realized after I put on the second bracket on the uh, windshield piece here um, that I wasn't able to get that part on unless I took this off again. So I just started over by taking this piece off and then I slid this bad boy on. As you can see here, it just attaches down there. And now we're gonna put that piece back on and then reattach it up here. So. We're getting, we're getting somewhere. Getting kind of late, but that's the start of it so far. So far it's looking pretty cool, I like it. It's gonna be nice when it's all done though. And it wraps all the way around. The struggle that I'm gonna have though is right here. Is I gotta figure out how it's gonna mount. If they make two types, they make like a body mount, and then they also make like a, the one that attaches to the frame. But since I don't have an aftermarket bumper, um, I've gotta do it to the frame. Or the body, sorry. So that's gonna be exciting. And we're gonna figure out how to do that. Okay. So it is a new day. Uh, it got a little dark last night. And today I'm trying to figure out how to mount this thing to the body of the Jeep. Um, the instructions say to remove the lights from the backside. Now I decided to kind of frame it out a little bit to get an idea of where it's supposed to all go. but. It's more complicated than it looks. So I'm trying to figure out how the hell I'm gonna do this, um, but we're gonna figure it out. So I did end up finding a lot better instructions online. Uh, these ones are much more thorough and they, they go through both the body mount process as well as the frame mount process. I'll put a link in the description for, for this, um, but it has seriously helped me. So I've got to figure it out now. In the instructions, it says that the center bolts, or sorry, the bolts here, they need to be three quarters of an inch off the center of the bolt from this body seam right here. So 
I made a mark at three quarters of an inch where the bolts are supposed to go. And this is the line where I like it leveled. So I had it, had it kind of where I wanted it and then I just marked where it is on, on the car, on the Jeep. And now I'm gonna take this mount off and basically hold this up in place while I mark where the holes are gonna go. And I'm just gonna take a 3 8 inch bit and drill some holes. So here we go. So it just started raining outside, so that's nice. It's lovely. Okay, so we got one bracket on, one little mounting plate, and it looks really good. So I got the bolts in there. I gotta tighten a little bit more, but I'm gonna tighten them all down at the end. Uh, I got the frame, part of the frame mounted now. And step back and take a look. And boy, oh boy, does that look badass or what? I'm in love with it. I'm excited to do the other side, so let's go. So now that I know where that one mounts, I can measure that one. I can kind of measure it over here. So that's gonna be the bottom of the plate. And now I just gotta measure three quarters of an inch in to where those center bolts are gonna be. And then I'll mark those as well. Boom, and just like that, the other one is on. So with the first one I did, I forgot that there was a little mounting bracket piece, this guy right here. Um, so now I gotta disassemble that other one and put that on. So <laughs> lucky me, I get to do that again. All right, so I got all of the frame assembled. I'm just kind of putting in the, the final few bolts and screws and then making sure everything looks good. And then it's pretty much done. So just uh, putting the final touches on it. All right, this is the last part. It's just little crossbars. Well guys, I did it. It's done and it looks amazing. Let me show you. Oh yeah, 100%. All right, so it's been about two or three weeks now since I installed the roof rack on my Jeep, and it's it's been great so far. I haven't actually put anything on it, so I haven't tested the actual functionality. Uh, really, the only thing I've noticed is that it starts to squeak after a few days, but after reading through a couple of the reviews, it appears like it's a common issue. It's just settlement. It's really just the, the rack kind of forming to the Jeep a little bit better, and everyone's saying you can just tighten it back down and it seems to fix the issue. Uh, I haven't done that yet, so I'm really hoping it's not a reoccurring problem, but it seems like it's a permanent fix, I hope. Uh, so I'm going to have to do that here pretty soon because I'm getting really annoyed with the squeaky noises. Overall, for the price, you know, you're getting a pretty good deal. Uh, it's $475 on extremeterrain.com, which is where I found mine. Uh, but I actually ended up getting it off of Facebook Marketplace from someone who's selling it for $100 less than the retail price. So you might get the same deal somewhere else, but uh, this is just where I found it originally. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon as well. Uh, and again, for almost $500, it's a pretty sweet deal. You're getting 350 pounds of weight capacity uh, while driving, and I think 500 pounds, don't quote me on that, when in static uh, standing position. And you know, you could flush out the $800, $900 for uh, another roof rack, but you know, what, what else are you gonna get from it besides maybe a higher weight capacity? What are you gonna be hauling on top of your roof that's more than 350 pounds? Uh, I mean, you can easily get a rooftop tent, a cargo basket, and maybe a couple kayaks, you know, it easily will hold two people in that tent as well. But overall, no, I'm very satisfied with the roof rack so far. I'm excited to get some stuff for the top, maybe some lights, uh, and definitely a rooftop tent or something like that. Uh, and we'll see where it goes. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, if you like this video, like it, subscribe, um, and I'll catch you in the next one.